Why would investors be interested in probate properties? From my experiences working with both investors and families going through the probate process, this source of buyers can be mutually beneficial. Find out why in this video. This is part two on this very topic. My name is Mario Joyner, your Las Vegas probate specialist. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We assist families going through the probate process with real estate and more. From my daily conversations with families going through the probate process, I'm often asked about investors looking to purchase a property or properties that are a part of an estate. In the next few minutes and previous video, you will get five key takeaways. Key takeaways are, what is probate real estate? Probate real estate in four steps. How to buy probate real estate. How to sell probate properties. And what is intestate probate? For investors, probate real estate has proven time and time again that it deserves a place amongst today's best acquisition strategies. At the very least, investors who can acquire properties in probate may find themselves with an attractive deal that's too good to pass on. However, it is worth noting that the process of acquiring a deal through probate strays from what the average investor is used to. There is a unique process for buying homes in probate, and it could be in your best interest to learn it. If for nothing else, Understanding the basic tenets of the probate real estate process could put you on the path to finding your next deal. And what better way to understand the process than to gather as much information as you can from this probate real estate video guide. Let's get going. How long does probate take? From my experience, the probate process can take anywhere from a few months to a year or even longer, as there are many different assets and property laws to consider. On average, however, the process can take as long as two years. The typical probate process can be affected by the number of heirs, any issues with the execution of the will, and any taxes or debts attached to the property. Additionally, the state and local laws where the property is located could impact the overall timeline. Probate can extend for so long because the various legal proceedings associated with the process can take time. In some cases, probate can take as little as six months, though this is not always the norm. Investors who have worked with probate properties may be aware, but the presence of a will can speed things along greatly. The reason being, a will signals that the property has already been assigned to a specific beneficiary. That heir can then decide how to move forward with the property. How to avoid probate. To avoid probate, homeowners can put all their assets into a revocable living trust. This is a written document signed and notarized that determines who will receive the property when a homeowner dies. To do this, a homeowner must create a trust document and then transfer any assets into said trust. It is not required to make a trust if you own property or other valuable assets, though it can be helpful down the road. While it may seem melancholy, it is not uncommon for individuals to create a living trust or will to prepare for the future. You do not need a lawyer to create a trust, though legal help can be invaluable as you navigate the process. When done correctly, a revocable living trust can help homeowners or more specifically their trustees avoid probate court after death. Probate investing, how to buy probate real estate. Real estate investors hoping to find probate deals should take the time to familiarize themselves with how it works. If you want to find probate real estate deals for your investing business, may I recommend the following process? Educate yourself on how it works. Get a list of probate properties create and fulfill a marketing campaign, outsource the entire process. How to sell probate properties. Selling a probate property requires the seller to file a petition to open probate. The seller may also be required to have an inspection and appraisal of the property. Then the seller should work with a real estate agent who is experienced in marketing probate properties. According to realtor.com, once your offer is accepted by the estate's representative, that's not where the negotiations end. From there, the estate attorney has to petition the court to approve the sale. And as you may expect, courts move at their own pace. Expect to wait 30 to 45 days or even longer for your day in court when you can claim your home. This means anyone hoping to sell probate real estate should be prepared for potentially time-consuming court proceedings. Each step, while thorough, must be approached with careful attention to ensure nothing falls through the cracks. Stay on top of deadlines and make sure you keep up with any documentation necessary for the home sale. If you're patient and prepared, 
you can land a potentially great deal on the home. Intestate probate. Intestate is a word used to describe someone who dies without a legal will. If said person were a homeowner, various legal proceedings would follow to determine what happens to the property. This process is called intestate probate, and for the most part means courts control the selling process of the home in question. Intestate probate is regulated on the state level, though it follows the same basic steps. After the homeowner passes, the executor of the estate will initiate the sale of the house. This typically involves working with a probate real estate agent or broker. Most executors will choose to work with an experienced agent or team who possesses a certified probate real estate specialist certification because they will be more familiar with the subsequent court process. I have this designation. While marketing the property may be similar to a traditional property, the various legal proceedings associated with the probate real estate will need to begin once an offer is made. In summary, if you're interested in probate real estate, know this, it will require time and patience. Probate real estate is not a quick process and it will require several steps beyond a traditional real estate acquisition. Real estate investors may find it takes weeks to acquire strong leads, only for more time to be added once legal proceedings begin. The best way to accommodate this is to account for extra time in your deal analyzer. In time, you will get more comfortable navigating probate real estate and you will find yourself at the hands of some highly profitable investments. Thanks for watching part two, and I trust you will watch part one if you have not already watched as well. We are constantly adding to our catalog and encourage you to watch all of our videos. Feel free to like this video and all others and subscribe to our channel. Again, this is Mario Joyner, your Las Vegas probate specialist. Again, we assist families going through the probate process with real estate and more. Let me know if we can answer any questions or address a specific need. Have a wonderful day.